Hello Lilas, welcome, welcome back to my channel guys. It's me and Ducky and you. <laughs> Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is in your place of the world. Um, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Um, if you guys are not a part of my paid channel membership, make sure you go ahead and join by clicking the join now button or going to the description tab or the about me tab. It is $4.99 to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old. Um, whew, I am so tired. <laughs> I have been doing this workout. I'm on day three. Bear with me on my journey as I try to get my body back in shape and um, I've never been anyone to work out or exercise like that. Um, the most I've ever done was did a lot of walking. Um, but it feels good. I'm just trying to get myself, you know, to where I can lose down some weight. So that's part of my, my thing. I know everybody to start this like, you know, the first of the year. Um, this is not no, nothing that I just started. This is something, the workout part is something I just started only because I got my daughter that game and I found it on there and I've been using her game um, in the mornings. But this is something I've been working on, you know, before this. But anyway, that has nothing to do with babies. So Ducky hair is a mess. We were going to do that. Give her a bottle. I was thinking like, let me fix her hair. And then give her a bottle. Um, so let me, for you guys that may be new and don't know who Ducky is. Ducky is my girl, <laughs> cuddle baby, that everybody wants me to make her a boy. And even though I have on some little, very, very gender neutral colors, almost boy colors. Um, I still see her as my girl um she is the billy scope by kathy uh, romero biscuiting and she's painted and fruited by me so she's and she's newborn size she's on a reggie ann's body i did the newborn size i did have mine adjusted a little bit um so that it fits you know to my liking um because sometimes I feel like the preemie babe bodies are too short and sometimes the um, the newborn bodies is too wide. So um, a lot of times my little bodies on my babies, I, I kind of customize them a little bit to my liking for my baby. See, you don't care. No, she's like the perfect size. So, um... I was thinking today, I was like, you know, we, um, we, we start out with collecting and we just go through babies. Like we just run through them. Um, I think almost everybody that start collecting just buy, 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 buy. Some people don't sell. They just be buying and they don't go to selling. And then eventually something comes up that you really want and it's really expensive. And it forces you to have to make a decision to sell one of your babies to bring that other baby home. And that's how it starts. Once you get that one one sale and it'll be like, oh, wow, that's, that's good. And it goes good. It makes you want to uh, sell... Um, it makes you want to, what am I, why is it, it's so dark, this thing is so dark, but I don't want to change it, I don't know if I can, it is so dark, okay, anyway, it, ma it makes you want to go back and, um, sell again, because instead of having to save up your hard-earned money, um, you can money that you've already invested in your collection and a baby that you're not really that interested in anymore or you would be okay without having you could let go and get that money quicker you know than a couple paychecks you know waiting a couple paychecks 
it makes you want to keep doing it. And so that's how that that starts. And some of us, it gets really addictive. Like I just be like, okay, you going, you going, you going, and I'm bringing in this one, this one, this one. Um, but I think, and and forgive me if you if you feel some type of way about me saying this, because I'm actually um, doing a little self reflection here. Um, I think as you mature in your collecting, and you become more of a true collector, you want to collect things to keep. And I don't say you're not a true collector if you want to collect and trade. I can't say that. But, you know, you want to collect things to keep. So it's kind of, it started getting harder. Like, uh, I don't want to let this one go. Uh, I don't want to let that one go. I don't want to let this one go. So then it gets a little harder. And I think it, it kind of forces you to slow down a little bit, depending on your financial situation. If you have a lot of money, you can keep doing it. Um, if you don't, then you have to slow down and be very picky on what you want. The other thing is when you become mature and you're collecting, you start to begin to know what you like as far as paint styles, sculpting styles, um, hairstyles, uh, skin tones, um, details. And that, that does change and it wavers in between. There's no, and there's no right or wrong way to collect or right or wrong way of, you know, what's the perfect baby what's this what's real what's not um you know it goes back to that thing where i was saying like some collectors you know some collectors that are are uh, black only collect black babies some collectors that are white they only collect white babies um and some of us mix it up you know blend the rainbow you know what i mean um because sometimes we something becomes more real to you if you can identify with it or it's familiar to you um it's just like you know just normal people like if i see someone that have features like someone in my family to me they're cuter than the other person that does not because it's familiar to me and there's an emotional pull there so anyway so there's that. Um, but I think a lot of times too, we want to see when new stuff come out, new artists come out or artists come out that, you know, is hot on the block and the work looks really good in photos. We just want to see it. And sometimes, you know, you get it, you see it. Okay, great. It's wonderful. It's marvelous or mm, not as great as I thought it was. Um, and now we're over it. We, we saw it we're fine with it there's no emotional pull and we sell it um but then there's others that we see and we get and when you pick the baby up there's something about it that just makes you feel like it's it, it feels so real to you and you just want to just like you know you really just want to hold that baby you want to even if you're not a person that hold your babies all the time, because I'll be honest, my life is so fast track, I don't get a chance to pick up and hold my babies as much unless I'm sitting down um, doing a video for the most part. Um, but I do pick them up. I do pose them. I do, like, if I pick her up to get her dressed, I'm going to pick her up and I'm going to hold her for at least 5 to 10 seconds. I got to. Um, the cuddle babies, I, I promise you, I don't know. But for me... This might sound very crazy in a way. For me, if I could collect, if if I had the space, I probably would collect a ton of cuddle babies. Now, I know in my previous video, I said that I do not particularly, they're my least, one of my least favorites to paint. Um, and that's just because I'm always afraid that I'm not going to be able to put in as much work as I do when I do full body or I just it's just like trying to paint with this dripping syrup and it's standing upright versus laying flat so it's just the technicality of it all for me but the actual doll itself I love cuddles cuddles with cuddles actually come to the top of my list I would say Right now, the way I feel about as far as when it comes to the ones that's like per for art purposes, I think um full body silicones would definitely be 
number one, um, depending on the scope and all that and stuff. But if I have to say for like cuddle factor, just the personal enjoyment beyond for interactive and photos and this, and that's mostly what I love. I would honestly say Cuddle Babies is number one. And I really like when they have the hands and feet now. That, cause if, because, okay, partials would have would have uh, jumped that, that number for me, but partials don't come before Cuddle Babies for me because there's still so much more flexibility with a cuddle. I mean, come on, look at this. I can do anything with this baby, anything. Um, as far as posing. So, Cuddle Babies are definitely going to be number one for me. Um, but, you know, painting and collecting, that's why sometimes it's like, you know, for me, painting and collecting is like so, so different. You know, I rate things so differently. Um, but me, what I love to paint the most would be oh, what I love to paint the most would be what is that? Okay. This is crazy. Um I don't wanna miss it. Answer the phone. <laughs> okay, there goes stop button. But um what I love painting the most would be Full body silicone, then reborns, then um, cuddles, then partials would be definitely least favorite. Um, but what I like to collect would be, um, I like all of them. The collecting is very, it's, it's very dependent on the actual, um, the sculpt itself so that can just go from one end to the next but yeah I think you know like I said over time I've learned like I can look at a baby and be like mm, not for me even some of my favorite sculptors can I mean uh painters can paint a particular sculpt and I don't like their paint style on that 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 sculpt um I was just looking at one the other day and one of my friends messaged me and she was like Oh, I really like the way this came out and it sh and you know it's like what are you thinking I'm like not for me not for that sculpt um, which is why I, I love to I love artists that are very you know versatile in their uh, their painting and they have a lot of range and stuff like that because every every style is not for every baby you know what I mean like um, I wouldn't paint a micro preemie the same as I would a newborn. I wouldn't paint a newborn baby the same as I would a three to six month old. I wouldn't paint a three, you know, a newborn the same way as I paint a toddler. Some people, it's the same all the way across the board. Preemies, newborn, toddlers, they're going to have the same shading, the same, you know, same details, same coloring, you know. Um, it's crazy because it's like, for me, the way I see it, well, you know, I'm just speaking of what I'm familiar with. For me, um, you know, newborns sometimes have a more, depending on the skin tone, may have a pinkish glow or more bluey, purpley look, you know what I mean? Um, versus, you know, an older baby, their color is coming in more. You know, they're going to have less of all of that going on. Um, just as well as like the darkening of the ears and the fingertips. It doesn't apply to a full-blown toddler. It's not going to be, it, it's going to be a different, a difference if you guys follow me. So, I've learned what I like, what I don't like, you know, um, for the most part. But sometimes, you know, you, you see stuff and you you think you like it, you think you love it, you think you want it, you get it, and eh, something about the sculpt, 
it could the paint the artist could have done an amazing job it could be the sculpting or the sculptor could have did an amazing job and it could be the painting um so it's you know it's very hit or miss with collecting so i understand when people just be blowing through babies you know some people frown on it and be like oh why do they keep doing that and then some people collect for you know show they cut collect for you know to because they can and hey you know this is what trend what's trending i want what's trending i got it you know it's like the new pair of nights everybody line up for it um whether they're cute or not you know and that's what i feel like some collectors do with dolls they if if the lures are popular they need a lure if chase the uh chase is popular they need a chase if the uh penny by natalie blick is popular they need a penny you know whatever you know um that's the way you know some people collect you know some people are definitely just competitive in nature and and they use this as a sport I don't really, I'll be honest, I don't really pay attention to that collecting style as much with collectors. I think I fall, you know, I'm not going to say in love, but I guess you could say I, I really love to see collectors that actually genuinely just love the art, love the babies. Um, and understanding of the art is important too. Because I think some people think like when you buy these dolls because of how expensive they are, they should be extremely flawless and they should be like, you know, like Walmart dolls. And some come pretty close to being, you know, flawless because some people, there's some amazing talent out here. I mean, some amazing talent out here. I've seen some artists work that I'm just like wow like it's so crisp um and don't get me wrong you can have i have seen babies that are super crisp in the work and still look super realistic but there are some babies that's super crisp that look very commercialized that it just look like it just look dolly you know what i mean it's like perfectly painted very neat well manicured perfect hair but it just look dolly if that makes sense and then there are some that can do it and it'd be very real so it's pretty cool um you get to see a lot you get to appreciate a lot um you know my advice to anyone that's new is like take your time you know space it out a little bit i think too um <laughs> that's very funny for me to say because i remember getting a baby every day for like two weeks straight <laughs> When I was new, it was ridiculous. Um, but I think you, you, when you get a baby back to back, like say for instance, I was expecting two babies, right? Because of course I bought the baby in between the other baby. Waiting on one baby, I bought another baby. Um, but I'm happy that they ended up not coming at the same time because that gave me time enough to enjoy the new one you know really <clears throat> enjoy the the art the the connecting with okay what personality i'm going to give this baby you know this that and, because for me the imagination everything goes with it so it gives me time and then the next one come i already had that new time i've already took tons of photos i already got people tired and sick of seeing that baby over and over and over again so now when the new baby come and i start taking pictures it doesn't you know it doesn't like if i get them back to back one is gonna shine over the other one for me personally so i'm going to gravitate towards that one and throw the other one to the side and don't even get to spend time with it and sometimes because i get something new behind it i don't even want that one other i don't even get a time give it a chance to appreciate the art in it um, and, and for me, even if before I was painting, the art part was, had became very important to me real quick. When I first started collecting, it was about, oh, I like realism. I like them nice. I like them pretty. But shortly after that, I realized I really, really, I'm really, really about the sculpting and the painting and the this and the that. And, but I don't. I don't do that if I if I get them too close together I don't really 
one of one of the two I'm not gonna enjoy, and I'm gonna eventually sell one if that makes sense. But I'm gonna sell them all anyway. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, nah. Um, now you're just holding this bottle. You didn't move to This KY. You gotta be careful with this KY, cause it 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 works good, but it will build up and then it become like a little gooey. But all you have to do is just wipe, just wipe it, take a cloth and wipe in there and so. But anyway, this has been a long video. I didn't mean to go this long, but I will talk to you guys later. We we will chat later, girl. Bye, boo.